Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Okay, so yesterday we have performed the process of crystallization, right? Yes. What we have done is that we have taken a crude copper sulfate, uh, copper sulfate powder. We have made a solution of it, and after that we have uh, added a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid for to stop the hydrolysis of copper sulfate, right? Okay. After that, we have heated it on the Bunsen burner and uh, heated it and added copper sulfate till the solution has become saturated. Once the solution was saturated, what we have done? We have filtered the solution and we have we got our filtrate, right? So yesterday, what we we have a hot filtrate, right? So we have give give it a time of 24 hours and after 24 hours, when we are checking, it is now a little bit cool and we can see. We can see some particles inside the solution, right? Now we are going to see what is it. You can see in the what is outer layer of the apparatus that there are some crystal-like structures. You can see some. Uh, have you ever seen snow frost, like snow frost, snowflakes-like structure on the apparatus? What is it? These are the crystals of copper sulfate, right? Now this was the filter. This was the Filter, filtrate we we use yesterday, right? So now I'm gonna take out this filter paper. I'm gonna show you the impurities which were contained in the copper sulfate, copper sulfate, right? Which we took out. Okay, see what you see. Are you seeing the blue, bluish substance in this? Are you seeing the bluish substance in the filter paper? What is this? Yes, These are copper sulfate solution, and inside the paper. You can see the all the dust particles or the all the impurities which are at the tip of the particle, right? Okay. Yeah. So here you can see the all the impurities in inside the filter paper. All the impurities which we filtered out through uh, through the filter paper, right? Okay. You can see it. Similarly, all all you can see the yes, filter paper, right? Okay. Very nice. So these are the impurities, right? Now what we are going to do? There are some still some liquidy substance in the solution. The, these are the extra materials which we are going to drain out, right? What we are, what we are going to do? We are going to drain out the uh, liquidy part of it, and we are we can get the solid part of it. Okay. So what we are going to do? Just we just throw away the liquidy part. Okay. So what is here? What can we see here? We can see crystals of copper sulfate, right? See, this is our crystal of copper sulfate. It is pure. It is a pure form of copper sulfate, right? It is almost next to pure, right? And the main thing is that you can reuse this. It's not like it is wasted. You can use reuse this copper sulfate in other in another experiments, right? So see. How nicely the copper sulfate has been formed, right? So this is the structure. You can see the crystal crystal structure in the copper sulfate. Okay. Okay. See. Have you seen the crystal-like structures? Right. It's uh, a little bit shiny, and Inside this also there are many crystal-like structures, right? Okay, see. So this is our copper sulfate experiment, uh, ex, uh, copper sulfate crystal, and this is the experiment of crystallization. What we got? We got pure form of copper sulfate, right? So all you you have got to crystallization, right? Now, are you able to perform this on yourself? Can you yes, perform sir. this? Yes, sir. Okay. Sure. You now you will be given chances to perform this, and have you all written this pr uh, practical on the practical notebook? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Then okay. This is our process of crystallization, and thank you all of you.